Hi everyone, I wanted to try to derive the vertex formulas for the quadratics. By that I mean the formulas for the vertex, let me see if I can get it, vertex h, comma k. And then probably in another video I'll show that the formulas actually correspond to the maximum minimum point that is also the only point of the parabola that's on the axis of symmetry. Okay, so for right now, we'll just proceed by completing the square. So we can subtract c from both sides. Again, since this is a quadratic function, the quadratic coefficient a is not equal to zero. So we can subtract c from both sides. So y minus c is equal to ax squared plus bx. Now, I'm also going to proceed to factor out the a from the right-hand side. So I have y minus c is equal to a, parentheses, x squared plus b over ax. And why b over ax? Because if I redistribute the a to return to the expanded form, ax squared plus bx, a times x squared is ax squared, a times b over a, uh, these would cancel and I would just have b multiplying the x. So now I will divide both sides of the equation by a. Right, and I can do that because a is not equal to zero. And let me see. Divide by a. Divide by a. That cancels that. Now the expression is looking like this. y minus c divided by a is equal to x squared plus b over a x. Now, here is where I'm actually completing the square. I'll take the linear coefficient b over a and I'll multiply it times a half and then that number I'll square it. So b over a times a half, all of that squared. So that's going to be b over 2a, all of that squared, which is b squared over 4a squared. So I'm going to add that number to both sides. And I know that's a real number because a is not equal to 0 to zero, so I can add it here and I can add it here as well. b squared over 4a squared. Now, the next step I have to take is to rewrite it and then factor. I'm going to c over a plus b squared over 4a squared is equal to x squared plus b over a x plus b squared over 4 a squared. Now, this is a perfect square trinomial by design since I completed the square so it would be x plus b over 2a all of that squared is equal to y minus c over a plus b squared over 4a squared. And then I'm going to subtract back the b squared over 4a squared. b squared over 4a squared. So, this I can keep writing over here. So that's y minus c all over a is equal to x plus b over 2a, all of that squared, minus b squared over 4a squared. Then I can multiply everything times a, so times a a throughout. 
So I have y minus c is equal to a parentheses x plus b over 2a all of that squared minus b squared all over 4a because that a basically got distributed here, here, and here. So then that cancels out that last a squared. Now if we add c to both sides we will get an expression that looks like vertex form and we'll get there in a second. So that's x plus b over 2a all of that squared minus b squared all over 4a plus c. Now I'll combine all of this into a single fraction so in order to do that I can treat this as c over 1 c over 1 times 4a over 4a and I multiply top and bottom by the same thing in order to get a common denominator with the negative b squared over 4a. So now this looks like y equals a parentheses x plus b over 2a all of that squared plus c times 4a minus b squared all over 4a. So if you combine the like terms over here, all of the constants, you'll get this expression. Now, this I can also write as a parentheses x minus minus b over 2a, all of that squared, plus 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. And this is quite similar to regular vertex form. So here if we compare term to term, right, two polynomials would be identical if they match term by term. So here we would note that h corresponds to negative b over 2a and k corresponds to 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. Right, so these are the two formulas. And that would be the end result. So these are the formulas that we can use in order to get a quadratic that was initially in y equals ax squared plus bx plus c form where a is not equal to zero we can use this to get it into vertex form which is y equals a parentheses x minus h all of that squared plus k okay i think this is a good place to stop please let me know if you guys found this video helpful in the comment section below please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel until next time hope you guys are doing well bye